Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel which is all about crocheting and knitting and uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this small shoulder bag and I used the uh, magnetic fastening but it's up to you what uh, you'll pick as fastening and this pattern is not too easy so it's not good pattern for absolute beginners or beginners of crochet uh, but maybe handy and patient beginners can do it so let's get started and I picked this yarn for this project it's called Macrame from Durable brand and it's 100% cotton they recommend 4 or 5 millimeters crochet hook but we are going to use smaller one because we need to have um, the back firm and and strong <laughs> so you will need two balls of this yarn and next what you'll need is a pair of scissors um, stitch marker yarn needle metal half rings 3.5 millimeters crochet hook and 5 millimeters crochet hook and this fastening if you want to have exactly the same fastening as me it's magnetic and I think it's it's good and practical okay now start with a slip knot and then chain 11 and we are starting to crochet from the bottom of back so make chain 11 and use 3.5 millimeters crochet hook now start with second chain and make first single crochet so insert your hook into the second chain grab the yarn pull it through you have two loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull it through two loops this is single crochet and you have to make one single crochet in the next eight chains In the very last chain make three single crochets so make three single crochets in the same space this is first single crochet second single crochet and this is third single crochet in the same space then you have to make one single crochet in next eight stitches and you should know where you exactly insert your hook it should be uh, in front of single crochets on the side so here make first single crochet and I'm hiding the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end so it's up to you if you will follow me or if you well, so this starting tail inside uh, the back after with needle. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and you have to make one single crochet in very last stitch. And it's stitch where you have chain one and one single crochet from the other side okay now we have to join the round with the slip stitch and make slip stitch in this first stitch now I'm going to work in a round so you should mark the beginning because you know you need to know where is the beginning each round of each round okay and now we are going to increase 
three times on both sides, but we are going to use single crochets from previous row. So you will insert your hook into the single crochet from previous round. And when you turn it like this, it should be between these two loops. So we are not going to use stitches like before. We are going to use single crochets from previous round. Don't tighten it at all because it will be hard work uh, then if you will tighten it. If you, if you will tighten it much, it's impossible to do it. Uh, don't tighten it at all. So you can start a round with chain one, it's up to you, but I'm going to work in a round. It's more comfortable for me. So start in this uh, stitch, I will say stitch, but I always mean the single crochet from previous round. So in this stitch make two single crochets. So make two single crochets in the same space. And then we have to increase uh, one more time. So increase uh, in next stitch. Make two single crochets in next stitch. How I said, I'm going to say stitches stitch, but I mean the single crochet from previous round. So this is one single crochet and two single crochets in the same space. So we have increased twice and now make one single crochet in next eight stitches. Okay, on the other side we have to increase again. So we have to increase three times. So in next three stitches make two single crochets. Now make one single crochet in next eight stitches. Okay, and because we have increased just twice on this side, you have to increase again in very last stitch. So you can see I made two single crochets in the very last stitch and now in next round we are going to increase again three times on both sides but between increase you uh, you must have one single crochet so in first stitch make two single crochets In the next stitch, make one single crochet. In the next stitch, make two single crochets, and this is second increase uh, in this round.
In next nine stitches, make one single crochet. And increase again also on this side so uh, you always increase in first single crochet of increase from previous round so here you need to make two single crochets one single crochet and two single crochets in the same space then make one single crochet in next stitch increase again so this is second increase on this side make two single crochets in next stitch one and two single crochets in the same space in next stitch you have to make one single crochet And the last increase uh, is in this stitch. So make two single crochets in next stitch. And now one single crochet in next nine stitches. Okay, at the end of the round, uh, you need to make one increase. So two single crochets in next stitch. And this is third increase on this side and here you have to make last single crochet so you have one single crochet between increase so you have three increase on this side and three increase on the other side and now we are going to make one more round of this increase so we are going to increase on both sides three times but between increase you have to make two single crochets so now i have increased and in next two stitches make one single crochet then increase again Okay, I'm doing uh, the second increase on this side. Then you have to make one single crochet in next 10 stitches. Then increase three times on this side as well. And between increase you need to have two single crochets. Then make one single crochet in next 10 stitches. I'm at the end of the round and in this single crochet from previous round make last increase of this round and then one single crochet in next two stitches and that's all it's finished of increase increasing uh, if you want to have the back bigger you can continue in this system so in next round you will make three single crochets between increasing in next round we are going to use just back loop not stitches so we are going to use just this back loop and the loop behind the chain so these two loops you will use in this round and make one single crochet in each back loop and the loop behind the chain around and we are working in a round so use stitch marker and make one single crochet in each this back loop and the loop behind chain all the way around
Okay, now we will make two single crochets in the next, in first single crochet from previous round. So we are going to make the same pattern as before, as the bottom of back, but we will make two single crochets in the same single crochet from previous round. So this is first single crochet and this is second single crochet in the same space. Now you have to skip one, skip one stitch and it will go up now. So now we are making the body of back. How I said, now skip one stitch, skip this stitch and make two single crochets in this stitch. I say stitch, but I mean the single crochet from previous round. Skip one and make two single crochets. Okay, I'm at the end of the round and you will make two single crochets always in first um, single crochet of increase. So it will be easy. So I skipped one stitch and in this single crochet from previous round make two single crochets. One and two. Skip one and make two single crochets in next single crochet from previous round. So continue working like this until you have enough height of back and the height of my back is 13 centimeters. Okay, if you want to have straight edges in the end of the round before last round, make a slip stitch and start last round with chain one and now this is last round and I'm making slip stitch. So now chain one and we are going to make single crochets into stitches. So this is gonna be very last round of the body of back and you should um, crochet with your metal half rings and I'm going to crochet three single crochets with my half ring. This is second single crochet and last third single crochet with the half ring. Then make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and don't forget to join uh, also the other, uh, the other half ring on the other side. So you can pause the video and meet me back again at the end of this round. Now cut the yarn, pull it through and I'm going to make an invisible slip stitch. Okay, now I'm going to make back lid with other color of yarn. So I'm going to use a beige color of yarn and start in this stitch. It's stitch, um, it's third stitch of half ring. Chain one. And now we are going to make just single crochets into the stitches. So make one single crochet in each stitch uh, to the other side and I'm going to hide the tail behind my work so you should make 19 single crochets I'm at the end of the row 
and here in the stitch where is the end of half ring is last single crochet now chain one turn your work and start in very first stitch here and make first single crochet then make one single crochet in each stitch to the end uh, of this row so this is second row and you should make six more rows okay now we are going to make a better shape of the lid back lid so chain one turn your work and now we will not use the first stitch we will not start to make a first single crochet in very first stitch but in the second stitch so first single crochet of the row has to go to the second stitch and then make one single crochet in each stitch across and here goes the last single crochet of the row then chain one turn your walk and make 10 rows like this if you want to follow me you can make less rows or more rows it's up to you and this is how it looks like now just cut the yarn pull it through and you have to sew the tail inside the lid okay now let's make the strap of back so take new edge of yarn and I'm using 4.5 millimeters crochet hook make a slip knot and then chain 3 you can uh, use 5 millimeters crochet hook or 5.5 millimeters crochet hook now start in the second chain and insert your hook into the second chain grab the yarn pull it through don't tighten it at all then insert your hook into the next chain grab the yarn pull it through you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops now turn your work like this and you can see one stitch so don't tighten it at all insert your hook into the stitch grab the yarn pull it through and now you have to insert your hook into this loop and into this loop grab the yarn pull it through both last loops you have three loops on your hook don't tighten at all grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops Turn your work like this and insert your hook into the stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. Now insert your hook into this loop and these two loops. Now it's gonna be easier because it will be exactly the same every, every row. And insert your hook into these two loops it's better when you will do it from above maybe in start it will be a little harder but this is wrong there is also this loop it's wrong I have to do it again so insert your hook into this loop and these two loops just these two loops grab the yarn pull it through three loops now you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops turn your work with exactly the same way like before insert your hook into the stitch grab the yarn pull it through insert your hook into this stitch and into this both 
stitches, grab the yarn, pull it through three loops, grab the yarn again, don't tighten, and pull it through three loops. Turn your work and repeat it again. I think it's a little harder to make this strap with this pattern, but it looks perfect. It looks nicer than some normal strap, like just single crochets in rows. You can make just single crochets in rows uh, if it will be hard for you. But try this pattern. It's fun to do it. Okay, and continue working like this until you have enough length of strap. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I join the strap to the half rings. Just take a needle and make a few stitches like this. Okay, then just saw the tail in the strap and that's all. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Have a great day. See you soon.